Hello, it's Sarah. And today I just wanted to share a couple of Santas that I've painted over the years. I actually will, maybe I'll do a part two to this because it kind of occurs to me that when we bring up the Christmas stuff, I'm gonna have, I think I wanna do a share of like all the um, ornaments that I've painted over the years. I think that would be really cute. Um, and for me to have it on file as a video type thing. Anyway, um, this is a Santa piece by Maxine Thomas. Well, I painted it, <laughs> but the original design is by Maxine Thomas. And I've painted lots of hers. I have these ornaments that I wish I had right now to show you. Um, maybe I should go get them. Anyway, uh, but this is actually an award-winning, this is a box. It's like a, an ornament box, I guess you would call it. I just keep, I just bring it out at the holidays. It has these little sponged um, Christmas trees around the bottom, and then it's just the top. That's why I figured I'd um, just share it this way. Uh, and I'm on the other side of my desk because Joe said it would take away some of the glare, and it seems pretty good, actually. I think he's right. He usually is. Um, <laughs> But she, this, I just thought this was a good example of stippling. All of his fur is stippled and the teddy bear is stippled. So those last couple of videos I did uh, kind of play into this. And then the Santa face, I mean, obviously you can see his beard um, is very, well, it's not like it's a technique. It's just stroked in, um, but it's with the gray and the white. So white over gray. Um, and the mouth, it's very similar to the mouth we did on the um, brush. Um, but I won a prize for this as well. This was uh, the prize, I guess it's second place. Um, I brought him with me to convention. I'm pretty sure I went to the, it was in Indiana. And you know, you don't see much of the town when you're at convention because you're just at convention and you're in heaven. But, um, it was either, it was Indianapolis, something like that for the national convention. They go to a different city every year and they had a little competition. Um, so I entered this in and I won this red ribbon. So Joe says I'm an award winning artist and I just love it. I do. I love this piece, but honestly, Maxine's pieces, a lot of Maxine. See, I am attracted to her drawings. Her drawings are what attracts me. Like, see, here's a different Santa. And I don't actually remember the artist. If I come across the pattern, I will um, add that in the description box. But this one is, I, I friggin, I can see the book in my mind, but I can't picture, I can't picture who it is. But, um, you know, another similar design, but just a different take on the face. It's a more country style, I would say. Um, and this is like on a tin. I used to paint, um, for years with this a woman, Vicki Schwartz, and she wasn't an artist herself, but she taught the classes of just this, this acrylic style of painting. So she provided the um, surfaces a lot of the time, and um, she was very country. So a lot of the pieces that you painted on would be tin or, you know, different things like that. So this is another one, and I painted this one in 2000, and I think I did paint this at Vicki's. I did. Um, but it was an artist and I just can't remember the name of the artist. Uh, so, and then I showed these briefly as well. This is, uh, another version of a Santa. And again, in that same kind of style with the rosy cheeks and the eyes, but real primitive. And this has the snow tech again around the, uh, furry areas and his cuffs. So, and it's just on a piece of wood. And I think I did these at Vicky's too. Because what was great about painting, she, she stopped painting, but she was painting for years. She took, taught classes. Um, uh, was she provided you with the surface as well. So you could go there and she provided you with the wood. So she got all that stuff. You didn't have to worry about where you were going to get the wood or anything. Um, and then you would just go hang out and paint. And it was so much fun. I did that for a long time. Um, and then I think I started getting really good and I, I probably was, you know, I could have taught and I did, I taught in my basement for a few, a couple, a little while I tried. Um, so then that brought us to these brushes and these are the ones that I, um, did the tutorial on for those of you who didn't watch the tutorial. Uh, and I just, I had painted these years ago and I had said in the tutorial that I thought 
I did them at a monthly meeting that because I used to belong to the uh, the Shore Pines Decorative Artists, and that was a, a group that met at the Senior Center in um, Ocean City uh, once a month, and we used to get in artists like Maxine never came to our. Um, I painted a ton with. Oh God, why are their names not coming to me? Anyway, several of the pieces in my craft room are by. Uh, oh, I can totally picture her. Anyway, she's Hungarian, lovely woman. And um, anyway, um, so that's where I remember painting them. So I don't, and we didn't always paint with the artist herself, but one of the, one of the members would teach the class. But I ended up finding the pattern for this. And it's Arlene Newman, who is a local lady, and she does have some published books lots of strokes she does and stuff so this was one of her more cutesy patterns because she didn't do very many of these uh, a lot more realistic or strokes um but yeah here it is arlene newman a newman 2003 she published this so um i don't know i mean i'm pretty sure this is the same piece that i took and we painted these but like I said I, I don't think Arlene painted it with us I think it was one of the uh, members kind of taught it you know um, so this is what I came up with I ended up doing it in the two inch version the two inch brush because and then I added um, plastic not plastic canvas what am I saying just a uh, sticky back canvas to the front of the brush and then on the ones that I just did I only put it on the front but I'll show you the back so you can see I didn't paint the back of him yet. You can see like how you see the number two, you know, and I didn't want to see that stuff or these ridges. So I just covered it with um, sticky back canvas to kind of make the surface less bumpy, you know, so these came out really cute. So I'm kind of mass producing these at the moment because um, I think I'll bring them to my craft show next year. And then there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, this is Rosemary West, who is, I actually went to Texas to paint with her. Um, and this is just a pattern by her doing this very similar Santas again. Um, this time, like, she put it on a stocking, a bell, a tree, a candy cane, a star, a heart, and then just the Santa himself. But it's very similar face, you know, he's just got that curly Q beard. She did a lot more strokes see her strokes because that's her style and so you can put it on any shape you know and make it your own and there's the star I love the star with all his curly cues so and here's the pattern the, when you get the packet the artist designs it they just sketch out the pattern for you and then you trace it onto the wood and then you apply the technique so it's um that's why I love this style of painting when I found it because I didn't have to do a lot of thinking. The colors were chosen for me. You know, everything was right there and then I just applied the techniques. And once I got good at the techniques, um, I was good to go. So one more thing, I'm probably gonna do uh, another painting tutorial and it's gonna be this little snowman here, I think. He's by um, Renee Mullins, and I'm pretty sure this is a free pattern. It is. It was free when I got it, but it's from 06, so I want to make sure it's still available on her website. And um, I'm going to paint this, and so if those of you that may want to try it can paint along with me, um, I have to kind of see if that's okay. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, as long as I direct you back to her website, I think that's okay. So... Um, that's it. I just wanted to share some of my Santas. And I think I'll do a part two of this because I want to share all my other ornaments that I painted. I'm, I'm also working on these, these little ornaments um, I'm in the works. So, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching.